I'm a network field engineer and I do telecommunications. My name is Phil Scheib and I am from Alaska. I am retired locomotive engineer. My name is Leanne Jack and I grew up in Appleton, Wisconsin. So I'm a web designer and a front end developer. My name is George Brooks. I am originally from New Jersey. I've been in IT for the last 33 years. And in between that, still cutting down trees, climbing trees and all that other stuff in between. My name is Terrell Lee. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I work in a small used car lot just to get out of the house. I discovered this whole community of traders in the trade room, which, you know, I knew I was sitting in front of my computer at home all by myself, and now all of a sudden, here is this community out there, which I found very generous. Everybody was so supportive and welcoming. I just really blew me away. What makes us so different than other schools is that we're just not your typical school that's just gonna teach you how to trade. We're gonna go out there and be part of a family, be part of a team. We're looking for traders that we could trade together. My name is Josh Levitin. Uh, I'm from Bethpage, New York, and I'm the senior instructor here at Cyber Trading University. Yeah. What makes our on-site class so great, aside from the networking aspect of it all, just having our students meet each other for the first time, is the fact that myself and Fausto are very hands-on with our students in the sense of just being able to literally overlook their shoulder and watch their trade, what they're focused on from their platform. Some news came out and I think just popped. Um, while I can comment on what they should focus on online, they might not be able to understand that as well compared to having us right there in front of them. I kind of like the idea of not being in front of a computer eight hours a day because I can't do that. So I kind of like the idea of doing it in the morning and then going to do all the other stuff I need to do. Everyone that you thought was going to do that, you're going to have you're going to you're going to have nine losses versus one winner. Yeah, it's it's like it's not worth it. When I spoke to Fausto on the phone and he interviewed me, the thing he said the hardest thing for me to do would be to unlearn the things that I previously learned, and it turns out that's 100% true. And the stuff that I'm learning from him and from Josh and everybody um, has really made all the difference in the world in understanding what a day trader is and how it actually works. Uh, Fausto and the staff at CTU University, they, they're they really on top of everything. They give you good good trade choices and, and they keep you alert on to whatever's happening in the market at the, at the time for the day. Right, so we, we made a profit. What did I just say earlier? Yeah, just take the, money, take the money and run because guess what? If you didn't take it, how would you be doing right now? Now you're, now you're losing money. You, you're just trying to make that base pay. That's all you're looking to do. You got it, you made it. Listen, for every stock that that kept on going, for every one that you thought was going to do that, you're going to have you're going you're going to have nine losses versus one winner. I don't think you're going to find a better uh, support team in a stock trading business anywhere. That's why I'm here at the uh, platinum level. You know, a lot of people want to go out there and trade, and don't know if it's for them or not. And guess what? That's okay because it's not. And the thing you have to look at is. You have to find a mentor, you have to find a school, you have to sample a couple of things with a couple of schools out there, do a couple of classes, and you make the choice. But don't make the biggest mistake that people make. Go out there and be part of 90%, maybe even higher, of the failure rate in today's industry because people want to try it before they learn. I mean, would you ever want someone to work on your loved ones that never went to med school? Or how about just giving your finance money to some financial planner that never learned finance? We are no different, but you are on the right path. The right path is you should be doing it on your own. And by doing it on your own, you need a mentor to show you how to do it. And that's what you're going to get here at CyberTree University. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fausto Puglisi. Let me get a little chat back if you guys can hear me loud and clear. Just want to do a quick audio check. All right, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Just going to do a little couple updates here. All good? All right, perfect. All right, so I want to get the webcam up and running so you guys can see me okay. 
All right, make a C okay. Perfect. Very good. All right, Salvatore, Lewis, Jeff, good to see you. All right, good, good. Well, hopefully everybody enjoyed that little quick little demonstration of um, our students and their experience here at Cybertrain University. Um, I'm basically here going to tell you a little bit about Cybertrain University. And I know what the biggest reason why a lot of you are here. We're here to make money. And to make money, you got to know how to play the game. So I'm going to tell you this art of what we do here at Cybertrain University. And then hopefully you guys will want to be have a very big interest in it. But most importantly, I'm going to invite every single one of you to come in to my professional trading room that I've been doing this for 25 years and one of the leading educators in the industry and show you why that is. But you got need to know if it's for you or not. So I'm going to, we're going to talk for about an hour. I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to shadow brokerage firms, how to follow high frequency trades, basically everything that you always thought that was out there that no one talked about. I'm going to cover it right here, right now. So let me just change the slide here really quick. And uh, what do we got going on over here? Just want to double check. All right. So what we're going to be learning, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to talk about what is day trading. Okay. You know, people look at day trading like it's like, ooh, it's a, it's risky. It's actually the least risky trading style out of all trading. And I'll, I'll even prove it to you. I'm going to show you what is, you know, to have a living and being in, in a day trading industry. Listen, we're all see what's happening with, with the, uh, the COVID-19, you know, everyone's working from home. It's a lot difficult to do certain things, but I'm going to talk about, you know, now it's time, maybe, maybe try to change a career, you know, maybe start real, maybe there was a good thing for you to now that you have to worry about getting on that train, traveling, you know, an hour, an hour and a half back and forth, all that stress on your body. You know what? You could do it right here, but I'm also going to tell you why people fail. Because trading is a very, very big failure rate. And really for one reason and one reason only. Who really trained you? You know, and 99% of the people are self-taught. I'm also going to talk about how we find these stocks. There's a lot of stocks that move every single day. I'm going to show you my secret weapon on how we actually find them. And most importantly, the number one thing that's going to convert you to make you realize that you've been trading blind your whole life is level three and level four. Some of you be like, wait a minute, I only thought there was level two. Well, wait till you see what I'm gonna show you in the next few moments because that is the feature of today's webinar. So before I get into it, let me just tell you, why am I listening to Fausto? Who is Fausto? You know, what, what is, what is you know, like what is Cybertrain Versity? Maybe, maybe you've seen this several times. Maybe you've seen this, some of us on our, you know, when I compete in the Traders Challenges. Maybe you saw me on a couple other events. Maybe you never heard of him. Maybe you just saw me on YouTube. But what separates from all of us? Well, I can't speak for other people, but the reason why I am here today is because I am here to kind of tell you a little bit about Cybertrain Versity and what I'm looking for. Um, I've been doing this for 25 years. I live here in New York. I was trained by literally the best traders in the industry, okay? This is the financial capital of the world, like it or not. Now, I still live here. I have neighbors of mine. They're some of the top traders on Wall Street. We always talk back and forth. So you're going from Wall Street to Main Street. Now, how did I become a good trader? Well, because... Not only did I learn from the best, but I found out that you can't do this yourself. If you're sitting at home by yourself, okay, with your four or eight monitors and subscribing to newsletters, who's really talking back to you? Who are you really trading with? Every one of us here had a job, okay? And we all know when you had a job, you worked with employees, right? Some are good, some stunk, okay? Some of them were taught you a lot. Some of them were cancer, okay? So just please keep in mind, trading is not a right. It should be a privilege because unfortunately, a lot of you really don't qualify to trade. And I'll be the first one to tell you that because I don't want to be the person that's going to say, hey, Fausto got me in a trading program. I call their office. Nobody answers the phone. Um, you know, I, I got no support or anything. That is obviously not what we do. But what I'm looking for is someone I could train that I can talk to, that I can make money with. That's how you become very successful in trading because this is going to be like more of an interview. So that's the reason why I teach. 
Actually, that picture right there that you see right there is actually a colleague of mine that was on the Forbes magazine, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was actually one of those kids, okay, back then. So I'm basically what you could call the godfather of day trading. I'm one of the person who originally started. When I started, I'm one of the last Mohegans I've been around since the early 90s, okay? And that people are like, wow, you've been around that long? Yeah, I survived the crash of 2000, 2008, the, the uh, Hurricane Sandy and COVID-19. So that's the reason why. But what you're about to learn that day trading is really not that complicated. It's actually great because you can sleep at night. You're going to be great people. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna trade with people that enjoy to do what you do. And they, that's what makes you a better trader. But to do that, you have to learn how to play the game. So with that said, I have uh, I want to kind of basically do a quick little questionnaire. And by the way, I know there's a bunch of you here, John and JK. You guys are answering questions. Um, we have staff here that that are in the room that are going to help answer those questions because I I could be here hours <laughs> if I if I answer everybody's questions. So they'll do the best that they can. Now, um, let me go out there and let me just uh, let me just get a do a quick poll. All right. Because I like to get to know what kind of trader you are. So I got the poll up and running right now. Can everyone just click on that poll? Tell me, are you a stock trader, an option trader, a futures, a forex, or just an investor? Let me just see what kind of trader everybody is. All right. Now I'm going to share the results. Um, Lewis, yes, this is being recorded. Okay. It's being recorded. All right, so I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to share the results. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of stock traders. And, and you know what? <laughs> Let me be honest with you, and I keep saying that word a lot, but because uh, I'm a very straight shooter, okay? I don't. I, I shoot straight for the hip. Um, I, I'm a little brash, you know, with certain people because I'm concerned about your money. I'm not going to sit there and be the type of person that pat you on the back and says, don't worry, we'll get it back tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. But if you're trading any one of these exchanges, and if you're not making money within 30 to 60 days after going through education and this and that, you're pretty much wasting your time, okay? You're pretty much wasting your time. If you go on the job and you're, you're an owner of a business and you have somebody working for you and they're not making you money, okay? And they're actually a little bit more of, you know, they seem like nice. Listen, they, they, they're nice and you feel bad, but at the end of the day, it's a business, right? It's, it's, it's time to let them go. Trading's the same thing. So- Right away to answer everybody's question here. Listen, I do swing trading. I do options. I don't trade futures and Forex. There's other people out there. But to be a good swing trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade first because the movement of the stock over the course of the day, which trickles into a swing trade. You want to learn what options? You want to be a good options trade? How in the hell do you know what option to trade if you don't even know what the stock is doing? How do you know which one to trade? Just because it's got, you know, it's got great leverage story, that's not why you trade options. That's a sucker's bet. That's a poor man playing a rich man's game. And you don't want to do that. So let's get right into trading because you know what? If you look at this example right here, you're looking at a stock um, literally goes from $60 down to 50 in a blink of an eye. I don't know if you guys ever been in something like that, but if you hold positions and you don't know why these things go up and go down, that's how you're going to get hurt. So what is day trading? Okay. Well, day trading is basically you're in and out the same day. OK, I don't care what I trade. I don't want to know what I trade. I don't care what's going to be moving. I mean, we're doing great today with a bunch of stocks. Uh, EGR right now. I could just show you in my trading room stock that we're trading right here. Um, let me just share this with you. It's basically what we're trading right now. You can see all our traders in there right now. Um, actually, Jerry Jones just made uh, 50 cents on LAZR, which, which, by the way, this is the room you got. I'm going to invite all of you in. But look at the EGR. Stock goes from six dollars to seven seventy. This is a stock that they're trading right now. So let me move that over. So what day trading is is it's a point system, and we're just trying to make a day's pay. You know, that's really about it. Um, like also Neo, yes, Neo is also a pretty good stock that we traded. Um, airlines right now are moving pretty damn well today. Okay, so I, I love airlines. You know, I hate certain I hate certain airlines. Doesn't mean I won't trade it. You know, it's all about making money. So look at a stock like uh, VXRT. By the way, did anybody trade the stock VXRT? Did anybody trade VXRT here? Anybody? 
No one traded it? Wow, look at this stock in one day. This is what day trading at its best. Hold on, let me get my little uh, pointer here. There we go. You guys see, see my little dot right here? Okay. So look at this stock right here. It goes from $7.50 all the way up to $9 in a matter of 30 minutes. What is that? A dollar and a half? If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock, 1,000 shares, that's $1,500. $1,500 a day? Talking a really nice six-figure salary, you're in the, in the three to $400,000 range in 30 minutes. This is why people like it. And you know what? You're done. Game over. And you know what? You didn't even need a dollar fifty if you made only 50 cents on that trade, 500 bucks, $100,000 salary. Who doesn't want that job? That's why a lot of people like day trading for this one reason. NEO, another one. I mean, INO, we traded this week, $14. And, and over the course of the day, by 1030, it goes to 16. Want to trade the afternoon, 17, 18? You know, nice big move. So, how are these day traders very successful? Well, you have to learn how to play the game, all right? First of all, the biggest question you have to ask yourself and why 50% of the people fail is they have the wrong brokerage account. They have the wrong broker. You have to understand something. You cannot be competitive to go racing dealing with public transportation. It just doesn't work because you're dealing with someone else driving the car. It's not your car, okay? You have to have a, the right brokerage system, and that's about 50% of the failure rate. You also have to right set. You have to have the right setup. A lot of you have the wrong execution system set up. I mean, I, I, when I teach everybody, I'm looking at their platforms. <laughs> I mean, 90% of it is just window dressing. Like, what are you doing? And the 10% and the that they need, they don't even have it up and running. Things like, Level three, time and sales, watch list. You know, not all this nonsense indicators. I mean, you an analyst? I mean, like, uh, you know, a technician? D keep things simple. Look at stocks that are going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Remember, the definition of business is making money. Does it matter what you trade or you want to just make money? If you care what you trade, you're in the wrong business. Because you could sit there and like, oh, you like, I know people today are like, you know what? I missed this whole rally of the coronavirus. Why? Because I was stuck in some stock that didn't go anywhere or I got, I got stuck in something that took a big hit and, and it held me back. Sometimes you got to know when you got to let go. Sometimes you just got to know when to get divorced. Because the longer it goes on, the uglier it gets, Right. We love marriage. I've been married for over almost 25 years now. And we and some of you here know marriage is a very difficult uh, task to do, you know, when you have kids and you have everything else. So people say, wow, that, you know, you're like a, you're like a unicorn. Never heard people married, married that long. Well, you know what? I, I treat it like a business, like my, like my, my, uh, like my priest told me when we first got married. It's two corporations merging. You got to get, you're going to fight more. Than anything, you gotta know how you gotta know how to work together. Trading is the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go over and show you why people are successful, but also I want to talk about why people fail. The reason why a lot of people fail is because they mix, they want to do swing trading, then they find out, ah, oh, damn it, you know, let me do options because because it's cheaper, and someone told me with the leverage, and and then ah, and, you know, you're like, ah, oh, let me try futures because it's got a good tax reason, and like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me do Forex because I could open up an account with $500. And, uh, oh, let me do cryptocurrency now because Bitcoin is doing good. You know, it, 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 listen, it's all about, you know, playing the game and who you surround yourself with, not just going out there and, you know, having a whole library of books. Listen, I'm an author. I have a book. It's called How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game. And it's been published by Wiley. They begged me to write a book for them. But who really has time to write books? You know, I don't make any money in a book. I make money trading, but there's not that many good day trading books out there. So I did it. So if you want to go, it's always on Amazon. Very fast read. Everybody's always looking for the cheapest ticks. Oh, free tickets, free tickets. Do you even need to know why the tickets are free? When I'll talk about that later. I want to bar, uh, bury you with that. But you have to surround yourself with successful traders. You got to surround yourself with a successful room. And it's not about like, 
Hey, look how great I am. You know, hey, I just made $10,000. You know, you see those YouTube videos of guys like, hey, look at all the money I made. How does that make you money? Okay, how does that make you money? Over here at Cyber Trade University, we don't brag. Okay, and if you do, listen, it's not the Wolf of Wall Street. Great movie, but that's not our clientele. Okay, we're looking for, we're looking for people that are team efforts that just want to make money together. And we do it on a point system, not on a dollar system. Okay, it's something I was trained here by my mentors. So that's basically what comes down why people fail. All right. So what is the strategy behind Cyber Trade University? What we do is we don't try to beat them. We follow them. That's all you got to do. Look at the brokerage firms. Look at the institutions. Look with the insiders. Now, some of you right here are probably looking at and like, you could do that? Listen, who really trained you? You got to keep asking yourself that question. Who, by the way, you know what? I'm going to ask that question right now, okay? Let's see what you guys do. And please don't be embarrassed to say anything, all right? Um, I'm going to launch this right here. Are, are you self-taught? Are you one of those YouTubers and bookers? Are, did you buy a paid course? Um, did you do coaching? Do you have an actual coach that you work with? Just out of curiosity. Let's say you guys answer this question. All right. So as you guys are answering this, listen, I'm, I, I'm actually ecstatic. That I'm seeing a lot of people that do have coaches and did to pay, pay, pay courses. And sometimes, listen, sometimes it takes a couple of people to take a couple of courses until you find somebody. All right. I always tell everybody, don't go all in with anyone. You're going to have to eventually, but sample a little bit of everyone's. And I'm not talking about the free stuff. I'm talking about the paid stuff. Which, you know, and then see how everybody else does. And then see how, how they do business with you, how the customer service is. Are they very supportive? And then when you and when you're all done with that, when you come to us, people flip fall off their chair. They're like, I don't understand. Why nobody ever tell me about these brokerage firms? You could actually watch them. Hell yeah. And wait till you see. So I'm gonna ask everybody another, I'm gonna do another quick question here. Does anybody here have level three? Let me just see how you guys answer this question. Anybody here level three? All right. Now, don't be shy. Listen, if you have it, you don't. No one's going to rat you out. I always say no one's going to tell your spouse that you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Don't worry about it. All right. So I'm going to share this. And you could see how many people here don't have level three. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask everybody one question. What do you, what is it worth to you? If I'm able to tell you right now that I could show you where 70% of the buyers and sellers are in a stock that you're in, what is that worth? 70%. Priceless. Okay. Like that one. That's impossible. You can't get it. Okay. I like that one. Anybody else? What's it worth? Well worth the money. Okay. James says everything. All right. By the way, if you don't think it's worth anything to you, you could literally just log out right now. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If you, if you don't think that's worth anything to you, you don't think you think there's something more important. You think you're more smarter than the brokerage firms on the street, the institutions, the algorithms, the dark pools. Um, then you know what? I'm not a right fit for you. You could just log out and I'll just save you the extra 30 minutes. But if you think it's something more valuable, I'm going to show you exactly why. I'm going to start off with total view. Now, um, at the end of today's presentation, we're going to play a video of uh, me on NASDAQ talking about total view. Now, NASDAQ wants you to know how to use their exchange. They want you to understand that what controls the market, how these trades get done. I mean, I'm teaching young kids all the time. They don't even know what a stock is. They says, could you teach me how to trade? They're like, yeah, but first I got to teach you what a stock is. No, no, no. Teach me how to trade. I want to learn how to buy, how these stocks go up and down. How can you even know what's going up or down if you don't even know what a stock is? 
Why are you even buying a stock? They don't even know that you're a shareholder in a company. And we cover that. But NASDAQ, getting back to that, how could you even trade on a market if you don't even know where your order's going? I mean, what does that mean that I bought the stock? Like, what, what, what does that mean? Where is that? Who, how is that money getting transferred? What exactly am I accomplishing? People say, oh, that's not really important. Hell yeah, it's everything. Because then when a stock gets crushed, you'd be like, oh, it just went down. Well, why did it go down? Didn't you know from the beginning what you got yourself involved in? So NASDAQ wants you to know how to use their platform. I'm going to share that video with you because I've been a regular guest. But I want to talk really quick about what is NASDAQ Total View. What you're looking at right here is all the orders that are out there being traded around the world of who wants to trade, for example, looking at American Airlines. Okay. So let me just get my little crayon here and let me just do some drawing. So what you got right here is these are your buyers and these are your sellers. You got three columns, one, two, and three. This column right here, which is the bid, this is the price where people are looking to buy it around the world. So what you're looking at is everybody around the entire world that are trading American Airlines and what they want to buy it for and how many shares that want to be bought and how many orders are making up those shares. So you're seeing what's called the raw data of all the orders out there. Now, just forget about every indicator or every platform. Just focus on this alone. Think about that for a second. You're seeing every single order out there in the world that are trade American Airlines. How do you not want that information? Okay. That's all about following the money. So let me go back and let me change here. Now, how do we actually utilize that data? Like, how does that work? Well, let me get my, let me just point this out here. So right here, you'll notice the stock goes from $28, goes all the way down and stops exactly at $24.50. Now, do you ever like have like, think about like, why did the stock stop there? Like, why didn't you go to 20? Why didn't it stop at 26 where I thought Mr. Fibonacci told me? Why 24? And then right at 24, for some reason, his stock started going back up again and it went right back to 26. Some people are like, oh, because double top, triple bottom, a head and shoulder. I don't listen, I don't do any of that crap. Okay. That's worthless. I don't know what even that means. Okay. I asked my mentors to taught me, like, what they're like, what are you talking about? You know why it went up? Because of this 56,000 share buyer out there at 21, 21, uh, 21 orders out there looking to buy 24. It has nothing to do about, oh, this, bro this stock you know, knows when it's having a double top being affected to it or because it has seven different green bars because of previous openings. I mean, like you could sit there and analyze it all you want. At the end of the day, it's just simple math. It's black and white. Buyer of 50, 58,000 shares out there. You got buyers everywhere, 100, 400, 300, 200, 200, 58,000. You're telling me that you're going to question and you're smarter than that guy of 58,000. If you think you're smarter than him, let me know how that works out for you and good luck in trading. Okay? Don't try to outsmart the street. Follow the money. It's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. Um, let me just, uh, let me show you another one. Let me change the slide here. Here you have a stock that goes from, uh, hold on. Goes from 1850, right out of the gate, goes all the way up to a price of $24. Beautiful run, gorgeous run. But for some reason, coincidental, why did it stop at 24? Why did it go to 27? Why did it stop at, why 24? Well, here at Cybertrain University, just kind of explain something to you. We don't teach support and resistance levels, okay? Now, you're probably falling off your chair to like, what do you mean? Everybody talk. What makes Fausto smarter than 99% of people out there that talk about support and resistance? I'll tell you why. What does support and resistance mean when it gets broken all the time? You see, what makes resistance, like what you see here, 
is people who focus on resistance are focusing on the past. Here at Cyber Trade University, we don't teach you the past. We teach you the future. Could you imagine learning what's going to happen in the future? See, everybody, anyone and anyone that talks about support and resistance is focusing on the past. Would you rather focus on the past or the future? I mean, of course, we're going to learn the future. How do you predict the future? By following the money. By knowing the stock is going up right here and seeing it going up and having a game plan. Sorry about that. And seeing, oh, well, you know what? Mr. Fibonacci told me resistance levels was at $23.78. Okay, great. But over there only shows me there's 600 shares. What does that have to do? Oh, but resistance says it's at 20. That's what tw resistance at $20 was yesterday. Okay, great. Yeah, no problem. What happened? It broke through it. You know what doesn't break through it? The 54,000 share seller out there um, at $24. Not the 200 share seller, not the 500 share seller, not even the 1,000 share seller. It's the 54,000 share seller. Now, do you think you're going to question that order out there? By the way, this is all live and this is all real orders. Don't, so please don't come out there and tell me, oh, how do we know these are real or fake? I'll talk about that in the next, next segment we're coming up to. But listen, the whole point of today's webinar is like, can you make money doing this? How to make money doing this, okay? And why do people lose? How do you become a winner and not become like what most people are, losers in trading? Because no one follows the money. Now, how does that separate me from everybody else? Because I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. That's why. What do you think people are doing on the street? You think they're looking at some Fibonacci out there? When you look at, you know what? Why don't you turn on CNBC right now and, and, and see what's going on on the floor of the exchange? Don't look at the people. Don't look at the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, uh, the reporters. Look at, look at the traders on the floor. Look at their monitors. You tell me how many indicators you see. Zero. You know what you do see? Numbers. They're just following the money. You know, just following the money. Next time you go to an auction, if any of you ever been to an auction, you tell me how many indicators you see up on uh, w w that the auctioneer is actually showing you. You show me how many, all those people, they're just bidding. You know, they're just bidding. That's it. That's where it's at. Here, let's get, let's have a little fun. You guys ready to have a little fun? Let me see. Let, let me just show you how quickly I taught you how to make money in trading. First of all, I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to do a quick poll. Okay. And my poll is this. Is this stock going up or down? Let's see how you guys answer this question. Up or down? Let me see how you guys do. By the way, quick, quick. You got to hit the button. Don't even think. First thing comes to your mind. Is this stock going up or down? Okay? Just click on that button next to you. Just click on it. Don't even think about it. If you're thinking, you're too late. All right, good. That was pretty fast. All right, good. I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to share it. So 88% of you said it's going down, 12% is going up. First of all, I ask this question all the time, and I don't know if this is a joke or whatever, but I have no idea how this stock is going up. Could you please, could someone please explain to me what makes you think that this stock is going up? I, I mean, unless you're just trying to be funny or whatever it is, but stock is going down. And if you were really serious, I have to be very serious with you. You better quit trading right now. If you really thought the stock was going up, you should you probably should quit right now. Give your money, start looking for a uh, you know, start looking for a stockbroker, you know, a mutual fund, whatever it is. You're wasting your time. Now, if you were just joking around, and for the ones that said it was going down, let's go change the current, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Let's look where the buyers are because eventually stock's gonna stop. Right, it's not going to keep. I mean, it could go to zero, but usually it's going to stop somewhere. Okay, um, F sell. We need buyers, right? Because buyers are what are going to make the stock from stop from going lower. And if I look over here, I have about one hundred and two thousand shares, uh, about two hundred and fifty nine thousand orders out there looking to buy the stock at nine dollars. What do you think is going to happen at nine dollars? I'm not even looking at an indicator. I'm not looking at a chart. I'm not looking at these heats. I just know right there 
Are you going to question 259 people around the world that make up that 102,000 share buyer out there at $9? Okay. It should, right, Bridget? It should bounce. I mean, in theory, demand, a buyers, buyers bring it up. Sellers bring it down. So let's go look at the stock. Let's go move back. Remember we said it was going down? Well, guess what? You were right. But to predict the future, you got to know when is it going to stop. And when we looked at the raw data, look what happened with F-Cell. It hit $9, came right to that buyer, and went from 9 in less than 30 minutes, ran back to $10.20. So in less than an hour, one hour on a, on a, on a thousand shares, $9,000 investment, you could have made yourself a thousand dollars in 30 minutes right there. If you bought 500 shares, a $4,500 investment, you would have made yourself 500 bucks, hundred thousand dollars a year salary, no overnights. You could sleep at night, no algorithms. You got to worry about no indicators. It's just black and white. Buyer, seller. Support makes it, you know, resistance. Did anybody lost yet? Is any, did I lose anybody? Anybody follow, everybody following along? Just give me a yes or no. Frederick, yes. Okay, good. Anybody else? What about you, John? Mike, I didn't hear from you. Lucy, guys, don't won't be shared. Don't I mean did I lose you? Yes or no? Okay. Remember when you first walked in here? what you were going to expect, okay? You are right now in the middle of a job interview. You're actually interviewing me to say, okay, I know I need to be educated. Let me see what Cyber Training University has to offer me. Everybody talks about this, all the same garbage. Why their indicator is better than his indicator, why his platform is better than his platform. How many of you ever, and, and all of a sudden like, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. This guy's very intellectual. You know, me personally, I'm just a regular, you know, street person. You know, um, I, I shoot right for the hip. I don't tell people, I, I don't, you know, massage it. I don't try to talk like this crazy, you know, vocabulary and confuse people, make me sound smarter than what I really am. I just tell you what it really is. Because if you can't get this, when I was taught the same thing, my broker firm, my boss says, you know what? If you don't get this, just leave because you're not going to make me money. I'm looking for people I could train this data to so you could help us find it because there's no software out there that does it. So we could all benefit and buy it all together at $9. Seem hard? Guess what? You're all going to witness it right when we're done today. Let's just go right to the data. Forget about the charts now, okay? Let's just go right to the data. Let's look at Uber, for example. Can you guys tell me where do you think resistance levels would be in Uber? Where do you think a stock is going to hit a ceiling? Where do you think all the indicators start kicking in? At what number? Anybody could pick a number right now looking just at the level three. Where do you think? If you can't answer this question, just give me a question mark. I'd rather you just be honest. By the way, nobody can read anybody's question here. Let me tell you, I love the interaction. The, see, the people are chatting. Those are the people I want to train. And I'm going to tell you when we, at the end of the presentation why. You guys that are talking, guess what? You just passed the first interview here at Cybertrain University. And you'll see why. All right? Now, if you said the stock was right, right around one, uh, 150, you know, 5140, you know, right? You're right. You got 200,000 shares seller right there, another 63,000. You're talking close to almost like 300,000 shares are going to be sold. What is that? That's that's not that's so that's no peanuts right there. We're talking almost almost 10 million dollars worth of stock. <laughs> you know, a lot of money right there, okay? You think you think I'm scared of a guy that, "Oh, there's a guy looking to sell 100 shares like, ooh, you got to watch out. Oh, 1300. <sighs> He's got that's a big seller." You know, like no, the 200,000, that's what you got to worry about, okay? So, let me go to the chart. What is what does it look like? Um, what does it look like the stock is doing going up or down? What does it look like? Up or down? It looks like it's going up. But remember the number you said? We said 5140, right? 
It, that was our resistance because now we're looking at a chart, which most people look at, they think it's going up. But because we're looking at the data, we're saying it's going to go down, right? So look what ended up happening. You could sit there and you could analyze it all you want. But from 11 o'clock, it hit it, 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 it hit it. And you know what? Never went past it. Why? Because of that big seller out there. That's the end of the game. That's really where it comes down to it. Following the money. Now, um, have any of you guys ever, fellow traders, ever felt like you buy a stock and every time you buy it, it goes down and every time you sell it, it goes up? Like, you ever feel like somebody's like watching you? Has that ever happened to anybody? Jennifer, it happens to you. Mike happens all the time. Lewis, yes. In the past, <laughs> Roderick. Okay, so let me just, you know, let me take that yes away from you okay seems probably scary sometimes omar okay well guess what i've been doing this for years i, I was um, i was an actual market maker okay i was the guy that you actually who does those trades that you guys always worried about that's me i teach you how to play that game let me just tell you this nobody's watching you okay nobody's watching you you're nobody to them all right you know what your problem is you are not watching them that's, that's the problem. You thinking that, you know what, I'm scared. Do they see my order? You know, listen, this is not, you know, this is not Russia following or the Chinese or whatever, it is. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. fake news, whatever it is. You just got to watch them. That's it. They don't care about your 100, 200 shares, your 1,000 shares. Ooh, look, uh, uh, Nancy's got 200 shares trying to sell Uber. You know, Mer Goldman Sachs, like, oh, that's that girl Nancy again. We got to, oh, we got to trick her. We got to scam her. Listen, it's, it's, they don't have, they're moving millions of shares, millions. I used to trade millions a day. You think, you think I care about you guys are out there? Okay. You, you know, we are, you know, you know what they look at us? We're the ants on the floor getting the crumbs, the, which is not bad. You know, some of us like the crumbs. These brokerage firms, like you, you see what happened this election. You notice like they always go after the people who have the money. Oh, you got to go after Wall Street. Wall Street's going to pay for it. Wall Street, Wall Street. And you're like, you know, you start thinking in your head like, wow, Wall Street's a bad people. And then, I, and then this is what happened to me. I'm like, why do you hate Wall Street so much? Oh, I know why, because they make so much money. Why not just join them? Why do they make so much money? I kill myself. And these guys are sitting there just by just, just pushing buttons all day. You know what I mean? Why, why not do it? And guess what? You guys have probably figured it out now. That's why you're here today. You're here today, like, I could push a button too. I mean, like, don't you remember, there's, there's always two sides to the story. Actually, there's three sides to the story. There's his story, the other story, and the truth, you know? But if you're that person that just believes that one side, guess what? You're going to lose. Um, isn't that their job to, uh, to take your money? Lewis, listen. Everybody... You know, everybody out there, even in sports, okay, there's a winner and there's a loser. No, it's, you know, no offense. You guys say, listen, it's just, it's just business. So you just got to know how to play the game. And if, 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 you know, in anything, everyone's out looking for themselves. You know, listen, some of us have a good heart. You know, we try to do the right thing. But sometimes doing the right thing all the time is not always the best thing for you personally, okay? Because people take advantage, and you don't want to put your guard down. So when you come to trading, yes, people could do stuff like that. But if you're not following the money, you're going to get yourself in trouble. By the way, here's a picture I want to show you uh, about uh, the New York Stock Exchange. You have, look, look, at, look at that photo. Look how many indicators you see. Zero. Zero. Look, look at all those. Look at all, They're just numbers. Now, some of us look at that like, how do you know what numbers to look at? Well, 95% of them are worthless. It's the big numbers that you were looking for. That's it. So next question, how many, uh, what do we got? We got, uh, we're almost done here. We got about, wow, time flies. Yeah, 45 minutes went so quickly, right? Uh, hold on. So let's talk about uh, where does your order go, Right. Oops, somebody keeps FaceTiming me. <laughs> um, orders. You basically, how do we know they're real or fake? 
It's basically just following the money. And how do you follow the money? You got to see if those orders are real or not. Time and sales. Do you know how many people neglect using time and sales? They look at time and sales. They look at it. And it's like, you know what? Um, is it real? Well, the time and sales, the confirmation from the exchange. So when you see those orders and they get executed, that order is going to come up. And if you have the colors set defaulted properly in red and green, that basically would tell you, are the trades going on the bid or are they going off on the ask? You see, trades, like, listen, just because you see an order out there, listen, could someone cancel? Of course they could cancel it. Of course they could. But how do you know that? Let's go back to Uber. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Remember that big order we saw right here around uh, 219,000 shares at uh, 2140? Okay. Remember that order right there? Okay. Watch what happens here. Uber actually went past that number. Is that even possible? Of course it is. Of course it is. Somebody went out there. I'm like, you know what? I think Uber's a buy here. I need it. Buy it. And guess what? How do we know that? By time and sales. By looking at the transactions. So if you see those orders getting executed, you'd be like, because you're going to see this in, in my trading room. I'm going to bring up a stock and be like, oh, my God, look at this big iceberg order out there, uh, 300,000. And you know what? We're going to say we got to get out. But then somebody might execute them. Could be a short squeeze. Could be anything, you know? So, yes, those orders still can get executed. Absolutely. So it's not 100,000% foolproof, which gives us the reason to know that if an order like that does get filled, guess what? That's why you see so many stocks do these big pops. All right. Now, getting back to trading, everyone. Um, listen, you really don't need to make a lot of money to do this. You know, I, 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 get, I get so insulted when I see people bragging how much money they make. And I see people on YouTube. I get tweets all the time. Oh, best day ever. Made $17,000, this and that. You know what? Some of us are sick and tired of, 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 of people bragging how much money they make. Because some of us, if you just made... 50 cents, you know, even you see a stock like GNUS go from $4 to $8 and like, damn it, if I hold it, I would have made 4,000. You know what? Good traders don't hit home runs. Those are the worst traders. Good traders hit base hits. You want to be consistent because every time if you go to bat, you hit a home run, you're going to strike out more than you did. And then you know what? You're going to have to hit a lot of home runs to make up, make up for it. You'd want to be, you want to be consistent. So every one of you here need to learn from mentors. Every one of you, okay? Everybody need here to learn a mentor and you're going to need to learn from one. I asked that question earlier. Some of you said that, oh, I need a mentor um, or, you know, I took classes. That's great. I'm glad that you did. And if it didn't, but I'm telling you right now, if it doesn't work for within 30 to 60 days, it's time to move on. And sometimes it takes a few people to listen to before you find the right person. Now, trading really is a great job. It really is. You are your own boss. You can come and go when you please. You know, I was just talking to a wonderful lady down in Florida. She's like, you know, I took all my money away from these mutual funds, these brokers, and like, you know, they, they, they still charge me and they, and they lose me money. You know, I could do, a, if I'm going to lose it, I could, I'd rather lose it myself and blame myself. And I could probably do a better job doing it. You know what I mean? Go out there. And try it. But you know what? Before you do it, you got to learn before you do it. And then you'll see what a great job this is. Listen, we're running, you know, whoever thought we would be in a pandemic right now, right? Whoever thought of that? And now you're stuck at home and now we're in a second wave. You say it's worse than what it is. You know what? I don't know what to believe, but all I know what I can believe, you want me to stay home? I'll stay home and I'll make money off it. And I'll trade the market because the market obviously is very volatile and very sensitive to what happens in today's society. If it was the if it was 9/11, if it was Hurricane Sandy hit New York, if it was the financial crisis, you know, when everybody lost their homes, unfortunately, catastrophes do make money for us. And you know what? Why go out there? And some of us are older, right? How many of you here on social security or living on a pension? We're living older. You can't live on that anymore. 
Yeah, it sounded good 30 years ago, but today you can't make money on that. We've got it. We still have, we have to make more and more money to live. We, we want to enjoy life. We want to live on a budget. And there's no better place to do it than here. So, Cyber Trade University, just to repeat again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell everybody about how I'm going to invite all of you guys to come to the original trading room that I started 20 years ago, 25 years ago. You've obviously seen them all over the place. A lot of them are my students, believe it or not. But here at Cyber Trade University, just to let you know about if you're dealing with a reputable company, if anybody here wants to get training, okay, just make sure they're dealing, you know, some of the bear being endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms out there like us. Um, and also go check the Better Business Bureau. Don't read some fulgazy fake, you know, uh, uh, something raw on the internet, you know, go to reputable companies, go look at the Google reviews, okay? And you'll see Cybertrain University has a AAA rating. We're endorsed by the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. And believe me, every one of them do credit checks on us. Okay. And, you know, and like I said, we have a five star on Google, but this is what I'm asking all of you. I want to invite every one of you to come in my trading room. I want to prove to you that what I'm showing you live in the market really does work. And most importantly, I don't want to brag and show you our winners. Okay. I want to show you our losers and how few we have, because you know what? It's the losers that why people make themselves uh, uh, lose money. It's the losers where people make their mistakes, okay? So if you want to go out there and you want to see, you know, do cyber trade university traders actually do make money, you'll see it. And then what we're going to do is this, and I'm not asking for a lot. All I'm asking for is that you let me know that you say who you are and all I'm asking is for $9. That's it, just $9. The $9, you probably look at it like, why so cheap? Well, this is basically an application fee, okay? And after, and after a week, if you don't like it, you can get your $9 back, okay? But this is what you're going to get for 9 bucks. You're going to get the Cyber Group Trading Room, three daily market meetings. You're going to be getting a morning and afternoon watch list, your own personal education advisor, a live Q&A session, a crash course on trading. And as a bonus right now, if you register the first 20 people, because I only can do 20 a week, uh, we'll get a free coaching session with me. Now, where are you going to beat that for $9? Okay. And why is it so cheap then? Some of you say, oh my God, this guy's charged you $2,000, that $9.99, you know, $100. That. Listen, I'm not in the business for $9. I'm in the business to interview you and see if you're qualified to be part of my trading room. When you come in my trading room, the number one thing you're going to notice, you're not going to see two, 3,000 people. Okay. Because it's not a, a right to be in the room. It's a privilege. I'm not, this is going to be an interview. We don't allow everybody to, to trade with us because some of you really don't qualify. And it's okay. Please don't be insulted. You'd rather the doctor tell you, I do not want to do the surgery to save your life than to say, oh, I want to do it so I can get paid by the insurance company. Okay, we don't do that. But if you want to learn how, what the real truth of day trading is, you want to know the real facts of what it is, if you want to see the professionalism, of what we do here and how and why we have the most successful traders in today's industry, then take the $9 out of your pocket, click on the link right now and get registered. And then you'll see yourself how everything works. And please make sure you fill out the, fill out everything else that comes with it because uh, there's a questionnaire that comes after part of our, part of our screening will help us answer your questions a lot better. Now I got about a couple of minutes left before we go. Um, now, does anybody here have questions? Now, you can see that the link is up there right now. Uh, one of the uh, education uh, in instructors here, uh, Rich, just posted up there. So just click on that link and get yourself registered. Uh, Linda says, I'll uh, enroll me in. Linda, no problem. You got the link right there. And let me tell you something. You're going to fall off your chair because we, we start the room at 8 o'clock in the morning. And when we start at 8 a.m., you're going to see, you know, we do most of our business right there in the morning. I'm usually done before the, so most of the time I'm done before the market even opens up, believe it or not. Uh, any other questions? Just a couple of shout outs really quick because a few people are here. And uh, just want to basically. Hold on, we got a few people here just registered. Want to do a couple of shout outs. Uh, we got Lance. No, I'm sorry. Wrong person. I got Dave. No, just got you from, uh, from Texas. She's got your registration. Welcome aboard. 
uh, who else we got here? Lisa from uh, Buffalo, New York. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mike from Los Angeles got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, anybody else, Anybody have any questions in the meantime? Could I start on Monday? Yes. You don't have to start immediately. Um, what we recommend you to do, I mean, personally, I would start tomorrow if you can. You know, listen, when it's fresh in your mind, you know, just, if, just, just do it, right? But to activate your account, we just don't let anybody in the room. You need to talk to the education advisor. He wants to explain to you exactly what you get. So please make sure you give us a real number so we can call you and explain it to you and get you in there because you'll be really confused, okay? You'll be shocked that, you know, what you're going to see. You're going to see stocks up 200, 500%, sometimes in one day. But you don't need that big percent. You need that small percent. But you just want to know how to play the game. Uh, yes, uh, John, there is going, there is actually a recording of this. So as you're registered, John, you'll be able to, re uh, you'll be able to watch the video again. All right. Uh, looks like we're almost out of four. Okay. We're down to four. No problem. Omar look forward to seeing you there. And listen, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? I know some of you right now says, well, I like options. Well, do you really like options because of the leverage or are you making a lot of money doing it? Right. Find out the real truth. You could do both, but you might like, the, like this better because it's cheaper and it's like black and white. That's all it is. Follow the money. That's it. Follow the money. That's all you got to do to be successful traders. And that's, and that's what trading is all about. Um, I personally just do stocks. We do a little options, no futures. If you want a future instructor, listen, there's only about two, three people I recommend. So if you send me a personal email address, you have it up on the screen, just email me. I'll be happy to tell you. You hear that binging go in the back? That's, that's all of you guys that are registering. I'm just going to do a couple of more shout outs. Uh, who we got here? Steph, Steven from uh, Great Meadows, New Jersey. Just got your registration too. Vemo, is that you from Florida? I think that's you right there. All right, good. And... Uh, a couple of more come. Jennifer, I just got yours. You're from Wyoming? I just got it. Okay, good. Uh, listen, $9, you got nothing to lose. I'm going to show you how to find these stocks. I'm going to show you how to shadow market makers. I'm going to talk about high-frequency trading, dark pools. I'm going to talk about, um, you're going you're gonna to see where, how to trade on direct access. You're going to see what level three, shoot, I didn't even talk about level four yet. When you see level four, you're going to fall off your chair. And that basically it comes down to it. Um, okay. Lewis has another good question. Lewis goes, how much money you need to trade? Listen, do yourself a favor. Don't worry about the money right now. You know how much money you need to trade? $9. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about, oh, I got my brokerage account. $9. That's it. Let me just come in. Let's see what it's all about. Let me give you that VIP service. And then we'll worry about everything else. Don't worry about it. nothing should even come across your mind right now. Other than coming into the room, seeing if the traders make money doing this, seeing how they think for themselves, and seeing if, if it's something that you could really uh, adapt to. That's it. Uh, yeah, you, you know what? You don't put your email address in there. Not that anyone's going to see it. But um, if, you, if anyone has any personal questions or just email that, I'll answer you back. I mean, I'd rather you know the truth and tell you it's not for you in anything. Then you go out there and invest just time. Because money to me is like, you, there's plenty of money out there. It's your time. You know what I mean? Time's very short. You don't want to waste your time doing that. Okay. Uh, Armin, go, oh, that's a great question. Armin has a question. What's your wins and loss ratio? Great question. It costs $9. Come in the trading room and you'll see it. Okay. You want to see, see what we buy and what we sell in our win ratio? Very a simple way to answer that. It costs nine bucks and you'll get to see it in, in, uh, in black and white in real time. Okay. Uh, got a bunch of other people registering. Hold on. Get this out here. Who else we got here? Uh, we got, uh, Nazesh from, I don't even know where you came from. That's from a different country. I can't, I know what that country called B A B A M. That, that's great. We got, listen, we got a lot of people from out of the country, Australia, Canada, 20% of students here from Canada, um, all over Europe. Peter from, there you go, from Great Britain. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. I knew, I knew we were going to get somebody from Europe. 
Paul Cosby from uh, from New Jersey. There you go. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Neo. There you go. Another person from out of the country. I don't know where that's from. Is that Puerto Rico? I think it's Puerto Rico. All right, good. Listen, we all speak the same language. Everybody likes the U.S. market. It's very transparent, very fair. And uh, now you just need to know you just got to surround yourself with great traders. All right. So I'm going to jump. Oh, Bermuda, is that where you're from? Uh, there you go. Bermuda. Uh, beautiful. Been there. It's actually probably thinking about going there. Uh, <laughs> listen, I don't know about you, but I think everyone could do a vacation right now. That's like that's one of the first places I'm probably going to hit because it's not too far from New York. All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for being here. I uh, hope you enjoy the presentation. Go out there, take that $9, a money back guarantee. Let me show you how to find these stocks. Let me show you how to play today's markets, today's volatile markets, and see what the real truth about day trading. You might want to do it. You might not. There's only way to find out, and that's going out there and seeing the room and how it is. And then, uh, and then make sure you talk to education advisor. Let me explain to you. See the professional and see how quality is. That's also going to help you understand if this is for you or not. But, uh, but just remember, if you don't move forward with Cyber Trade University, I'm not going to get insulted. That's fine. I get it. Maybe in the future, maybe you're not ready right now, but I'm just warning you right now. If you're going to go out there and you're going to try to trade today's markets, you damn well better go out there and learn from somebody and more than one person. And don't think you're going to learn this for free. Nobody works for free. If you're somebody who wants something for free, you're in the wrong business. Okay? Because that's all it's worth. That's all it's worth. And there's a reason, there's got to be a catch, all right? People want to take the time to teach you. You want people to give you that respect? Do it the right way, all right? If that was the case, college would be free right now, okay? All right, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Thanks for being here. I'll see you all in the trading room. Don't go anywhere, though. We're going to play a video of NASDAQ coming up right, next, right after I'm done so you can teach you a little bit more about NASDAQ Total View, all right? Thanks, everybody. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Fausto Puglisi. He's the founder and president of Cyber Trading University. We're going to take a look at how traders are using Total View. And Fausto, it could not be a better time to have you in with us at Marketplace because with everything going on, the volatility we've seen in the market since you were with us in the middle of February last time. That was pretty crazy. Traders are asking themselves, what's the bottom, what's the top? But as a day trader, you can kind of get an inside look when you're looking at a single stock. Yeah, what, it, what it is, Jill, is that, thanks for having me again. And yes, when it, when it comes to day trading, people realize that what happens over the course of the day, which trickles down to a swing trade into a long-term investment. And my phone's been blowing up. People keep asking me, Faust, is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? Because I'm looking, we're looking at the market all day. And honestly, this is how you really know when it's the bottom. When you have the worst of the worst of the worst news and just constantly old negative stuff, and the market's not going any lower, that's when you know it's time to buy. <laughs> so as you see, like a lot of bad news keeps coming up, and then obviously you saw what happened yesterday when they lowered the Fed rate by a half. It, it, it took for a, a big decline, and all of a sudden the market's up what, about almost like 900 points so far. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And there's still a lot of bad news that's coming out with the coronavirus and everything else, but that's really when you know when you hit the bottom. So for some of the listeners out there that really – were missed the boat when the market had a big rally. You almost hit thirty thousand. You know these are the opportunities. You know honestly, this is like the same thing I saw back in two thousand eight when we had the financial crisis. So once you start seeing all the bad news, things start backing up. Well, start going up. All right, let's take a look at our example here today. We're going to look at ticker symbol M R N A Nasdaq listed, of course. What are we looking at? Where's the levels that you're looking to sell? Okay, so listen, what is the MRNA? You know, I keep bringing up stocks. If people are like, what is this company? It doesn't matter. We're just here to make money. The main goal about Total View and is you have to understand how it works, how to know where the buyers and sellers are. It's all about supply and demand. That's why it's such a great tool. So we're looking at a chart right here, and we're looking at the stock right here. And the first thing people notice is, like, the stock's going up beautifully. Nice. Look at this stock. Started this morning. It's at 20, uh, 2580. It's at 28. Is it going higher? Now, the goal is... Why is the stock keep breaking out? It hits a resistance, it comes back down. It breaks the previous resistance, keeps going up. How do you know it's going to keep breaking higher highs? And that we, what we're going to do this time is we're going to bring a video so you all can see exactly what it's like to see in the real market conditions. All right, so let's move along to our next slide here. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's take a look at Total View. I'm going to let you take the reins. Tell us what's happening here. Okay, so we got like a little minute video here. So we're looking at some real time. And the key here is time and sales. These are the transactions that are taking place. We're looking at level two. Level two is basically people get for free, but it doesn't give you the depth of data as Total View does. Now, the key here is that you see 
You don't see that many sellers out there. You're just seeing the best bid and best, uh, best offer of that exchange. But you'll notice how the stock keeps going higher. What we need to focus on is the where you see the big sellers. And you're looking for big orders. You've got a 50, 51 different orders out there, right around 20, 28. Things are going so quickly, I try to slow it down. So right around 2850. $28, $28. So that is really your resistance level. So when you're looking at a stock going out, the, the going higher, you're going to say, is the stock going to break out? So you see it's coming up to this guy right here really quickly. You see it's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's coming up to this person right here. So it's 70,000 shares, 5,000 shares. Uh, so it's going to come up to that seller. Now the goal is this. Is that guy going to get executed? Remember, you have 100 share sellers, 300 shares, 1,000. You have a big, uh, a big order out there. You want to see if that guy gets executed, and you want to see if th that's how it breaks out. Remember, what makes support and resistance levels is buyers and sellers. So you got a seller out there. So we're coming up to that seller right here. Now the goal is, is to look right here and see if that seller gets executed. And you see it's coming up to the seller, and boom, the guy gets taken out. It's, it's, ac it's actually executing it. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. See all those trades and actions? Mm -hmm. It took the guy out. Now look how fast the stock goes up. From 250, we're at 260, 270, 280, boom, like that, as quickly as that. That's why it's so important to know where the orders are, know where the resistance, and see if the guy gets taken out. Now, when we get to the next slide, look at it. We're already at, we're already at 2880. Yep, and you can see, you can see these are these 35,000 Which orders. is, yep. exactly. Now, this is the next order. Now, the next question is, here's the next biggest resistance. There's a 33,000 shares. For a th uh, there's there's uh, 100 different orders out there. Now then that's where the next resistance level is. So the goal is you hit a resistance, where's the next resistance? The next resistance is the next biggest seller. So now we're coming up to him and we're gonna see what's gonna happen when he gets to 29. Yeah, um, it happens so fast. Well, also, this is about a, a five minute video that I mm -hmm. was able to capture when we traded this stock and I kind of speeded it up over about a minute. So it doesn't move as quickly. Boom, we hit 29, yeah. the guy got taken out again and look at the stock just took off again. And the and thing I want to explain to you, Jill, is that, and your listeners have to understand, is that when you have a big seller out there and that guy gets taken out, that is a very big demand. Someone says, oh, wow, I'll, I'll take that 30,000 shares. Mm -hmm. And that's why you get the stock that really, really starts to take off. Now, the next thing is that you're going to get some resistance levels. People, it's going to start backing off. There's always profit taking going on, right? Of course. So when you have profit taking going on, you can see profit taking going on. But the question is, is it really a profit taking or is it just people just... Uh, uh, or is it really going to go lower? In this case, it's not. Seller got done. Remember, we just watched the stock go from 28 to 29. Now look at it. We're at 29.50 already. Stock just keeps going higher and higher because those sellers are getting executed. As those sellers get executed, there's, that means there's a demand for it. When you see big block orders out there, it makes a bigger demand, and that makes it higher. Now, the next resistance level, obviously, is going to be where we, we have to focus on where the next biggest orders are. So we got some, no, I think we freeze, right? We're done? Nope, Almost. we have a little bit more to go here. We slow down over here. Yep, we're done. Oh. So the next video we're going to show. Yeah, we actually go to our slide here. So this is where you're looking at those levels. Right. So we're looking at the seller. So we have a 67,000 share seller at 28. So now we have to look what's, what, what's what we call iceberg orders. What does that mean? Okay. So it's a funny story. So I came up with this word about 20 years ago after watching the movie, The Titanic. <laughs> okay. Have you ever watched that movie? Very sad movie. I, I definitely am recommend it. So anyway, what happened to Titanic? It hit an iceberg. And the, the thing is, everybody was focused on the pretty of the ship and above the water. They didn't realize it's not what's above the water. It's the bottom of the water. Icebergs are really big. So what happened, it, it crashed and it sunk. So what we're looking for is big iceberg orders, which we call, some people call them big block orders. But when, when you see a big, big order, it's called an iceberg order. So now we're looking at a 2890. And we're looking for a resistance. Once again, stock's going higher. We need to focus on the next resistance level. All right, and which is on the next chart here. If we take a look, yep. So here's a quick, just a quick little screenshot. So as we're looking at it, at, at a, a, you see, it's a lot easier when you're focusing on, when you're just looking at the, at the level, uh, the total view. And it's, it's easy to point it out. Now, please keep in mind, your listeners have to understand, we're fast forwarding this pretty quickly mm -hmm. to get to the point. It doesn't move this quickly. Um, but I'm showing right here, it's just a quick screenshot. What we're focusing on is this big order right here for 73,000 shares, and there's, 30, uh, there's 315 different orders out there making up that 73,000. Now, um, the thing I, I just want to point out is, I just want to teach everyone a quick little lesson. Yeah. Don't ever sell anything at $30. $30. Go out of $29.99. You just cut the line by... <laughs> So that's for anything that's like an evil, even number. Biggest trip, biggest, uh, biggest uh, uh, trick I was taught by my mentors when I was younger. Listen, everybody's gonna think thirty. Everybody's gonna think twenty. Go out 
$21.99. You just cut the line by 73,000 shares. That's a very good... It's like selling a house or buying a house. It's like that, those incremental psychological levels. Well, if you remember, if you look at it, the stock has a penny intervals. Mm -hmm. Every, and so that's a little tip. But the thing is, let's focus what happens to the 30. You know, just right off the bat, you know that's a major resistance levels, and that's what we have to focus on. That's, for this the stock to go any higher, it's got to get through that 73,000 share seller on total view. All right, well, let's take a look at that next side. We're, see what happens next. Now we're going to get the, the other piece of the trade. Okay, so here we're, now we're looking at the stock moving. Here's 29.45, 20, 20, uh, 29.48, 62, 67. So the sellers are getting executed. You can see the transactions taking place, but we know that there's that guy sitting right here. And now his order's coming up. Look, he's starting to make it up the ranking. Mm -hmm. It's getting up to 30. It's getting close to him. So let's watch what happens. 74, 70. Look at the transactions taking place. It's trying to get there. And, and by the way, those orders, they're all real. People think like they're fake. Those are real orders. Can a guy cancel it? Of course they can cancel it. But that you have to take very seriously, and that's a real order out there. So now when, as we're looking at it, and as it's trading, it's trying to get there. Actually, it kind of almost tested it. You see that right there? Yep. See that candle right there? It hit it, and now it's starting to back off a little. Now you're starting to see the red candlesticks. So now it means that the, that the last sale is, is lower than the previous. And, and this works for all kinds of stocks. ETFs, would, would it work for ETFs, ETFs also? ETFs, futures, options. It works the same way. Remember, it's a movement of stock that makes all those other things. Yeah, right. ETFs and everything else. You, you, can, you, you can look up any ETF, and it'll come up on total view. Um, look, look, now we're down to 29. Yep. So my point that I'm getting to is this. If you didn't have a game plan, Jill, and didn't know that that seller was out there, and you try to like... And actually, like, if we go to the next slide, this is exactly what you were talking about. There's yeah. your level right there. If you didn't have a game plan and knew that seller was out there, and look at, look at that candle, that stock literally moved. Look how fast it moved in that one bar chart. If you didn't have a game plan to get out there before that guy was out there, and if you didn't what we call shaving, if you didn't shave just before that 30 and cut that line, guess what? You would you just look how much money you would have lost. That stock didn't even drop from 30. Look where it went to. 2730. Wow. You would have got crushed on that trade. Because what happens, if that seller's out there and he's not getting executed, he really had to sell that order, Jill. How is he going to get out? He's got to sell to the buyers. If he hits the bid, he's running that stock down, not you and I. Remember, we're not trading 74,000. Someone else is. But, and it's not one person. We saw it. It was like there were several people out there doing it. And that's how you got to focus on using the total view when you trade in today's uh, volatile market. All right. So cool to actually watch it happen in real time. Thanks so much for doing that for us, Valso. Okay. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.